morning, everyone. It is Friday, February the 19th, and this is Deaconess Elizabeth. And I'm here again for our daily devotions in our uh, warmer knees hall. So uh, our devotion this morning will be taken from John chapter 6, starting at the 41st verse. So if you'd like to follow along, you may turn there now. At this the Jews began to grumble about him because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I came down from heaven? Stop grumbling among, among yourselves, Jesus answered. No one can come to me unless the father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up on, at the last day. It is written in the prophets, They will all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to the Father and learns from him comes to me. No one has seen the Father except the one who is from God. Only he has seen the Father. I tell you the truth, he who believes has everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Your forefathers ate the manna in the desert, yet they died. But here is the bread that comes down from heaven, which a man may eat and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. This bread is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Then the Jews began to argue sharply among themselves, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is real food and my blood is real drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me and I live because of the Father, so the one who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Your forefathers ate manna and died, but he who feeds on this bread will live forever. He said this while teaching, at, teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. All right, so... We have this section here where Jesus is starting by saying, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And the Jews are so confused because they know him as, they see him as a man. They know his mother and his father. And they say, how can he be coming down from heaven if we know his parents and we know that he lives here? So they're confused, first of all, about that. Um, and then right away in verse 44, Jesus is pointing out, how no one can come to him in faith unless God brings him to him. And that's kind of how what we confess um, in the explanation to the third article of the, the creed. I believe that I cannot by my own reason or strength believe in Jesus Christ my Lord or come to him. We cannot come to him. It is God who uh, brings us or draws us to Jesus, and Jesus is who we see the Father through. No one has seen the Father except Jesus. So, because Jesus was sent from him. So our sinful nature does not allow us to choose uh, Jesus because we are dead in our sins and trespasses. Um, and so a, a main theme in this passage here is Jesus keeps saying he's the bread of life. At the very beginning, he talks about um, how the Israelites ate manna in, desert, in the desert. And he kind of sums up this, or John sums up this section um, where Jesus is again reflecting on what the Jews knew about the Israelites eating manna in the desert. And the manna was meant to keep their physical bodies alive, and uh, they ate the manna, and they eventually died. But Jesus tells us that he is the bread of life, and that by believing in Jesus, believing in Jesus leads to eternal life. And so as Jesus is saying all of this, he's pointing to his eventual death on the cross and how he will give his life up to give us eternal life. So our hymn this morning is going to be hymn 420, Christ the life of all the living. And we'll do verse 1. Christ the life of all the living, Christ the death of death our foe, who thyself for me once giving to the darkest depths of woe, through thy sufferings, death, and merit, I eternal life inherit. Thousand, thousand thanks shall be, dearest Jesus, unto thee.
conclude with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Well, I know for many of you this has been quite quite the week, uh, one that we're not going to forget for a long time um, to come. I believe uh, most things have been uh, restored. Most people have power. If you still do not have power or if you do not have water, please let us know if we can help you in any way and we'll help you uh, get connected to some resources. Um, I, so with that being said, as power has come on for many of us, we will be able to continue with many of our events online and in person now as the snow is also starting to melt um, today and tomorrow. Um, and as Pastor said yesterday, we'll make a decision of regarding the parking lot service on Sunday, probably um, tomorrow sometime. So yes, tomorrow at 10 a.m. we will be having women's coffee hour at 10, um, through Zoom. So I hope many of you ladies will be able to join us through there. If you aren't, uh, let me know. Um, but I, I hope uh, many of you will be able to join us as um, Internet and power is being restored. But I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Friday.